Toradora is an emotional roller coaster. At one moment I could be laughing, then I could be crying, next I'm happy, and then suddenly I'm pissed off. It's just one of those timeless animes that put so much raw emotion into each arc, and taught us the one truth in life. I mean, if I yuried on ice this whole anime, it would be over in a few episodes. I like you, and I like you, and I like you, and I like you. Aren't we all glad that we wear our emotions on our sleeves? So we don't have to have heart-crushing stories that leave all viewers with post-anime depression. I loved everything about this anime. Characters, plot, and I'm about to give my honest review now. I'll talk about characters first. Let's start with the main man Ryuji, the only one of these characters that has appeared in two animes. That's right, The Way of the House Husband. Come on, you're gonna tell me that nobody saw it? His dad was a Yakuza? and he loves cleaning. I have a conspiracy theory that this is actually his dad. And when his dad left because his mom got pregnant, he got married to Miku. But that's a rant for another time. He's a high school student who is only slightly oblivious to people's feelings. And you know how some people have a resting bitch face? This man has a resting scary face. In another life, maybe he worked for Monsters Incorporated. Now let's talk about the palm top tiger. Taiga is a slob in a klutz who makes Ryuji her dog. She is, as Snoop Dogg would say, use a midget, matter of fact a ditch. Thank you for that amazing cameo, Snoop. I couldn't have said any better. She is, in fact, small. Typically, this is when I call the tsundere in the anime, sweet but a psycho. But I think she's more of a psycho than anything. I mean, look at this face. Isn't this a face only a mother could love? But her mom doesn't love her. Shut up. But as you watch the anime, you begin to fall in love with this little bundle of joy and realize that flat lives do in fact matter. She also conveniently lives not next door to our best boy, but next window. I also think that it's funny that in one scene, she talks about how much she hates stalkers, and in another, she is the stalker. You have become the very thing you swore to destroy. Also, screw her father. I don't think I've disliked an anime character this much since the guy from Spy X Family. And yes, I do say the X in it. I don't care. Sue me. We of course have best mom, and I won't lie, the first note that I wrote down for this whole anime is that Ahem, mom is so hot. This is one character that so many people just overlook, but her story is terrible. I mean, she got pregnant and the father just left. And when her parents found out, they wanted her to abort the baby. So she had no choice but to take what she could and run. Her child was her whole life. So screw you, Ryuji, for saying those things about your mother. Anyways, here's my stepfather application. I look forward to hearing back from you. Uh, well, uh, boy, there's no real easy way to say this, but, uh, you're a simp. And I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this character, but let's talk about Ami. Is it bad that I was cheering for her the whole time? I mean, sure, she wasn't the nicest girl, but I really wanted her to have a happy ending. And that last conversation between them wasn't enough for me, I'm gonna be honest. I just wanted so much more for this character. But you know, if these two end up together, I guess I won't complain. And before my stupid comment section jumps on me, no, it's not in fact because she's hot. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but I felt worse for her than any other character on the show. It's probably because nothing ever went her way. Even when she took off her mask, she still didn't get her happy ending. We get Itadaki Sekai's cousin, Minori, one of many love interests of Ryuji. She's the eccentric, overworking character who thinks of others before herself, which is exactly why she didn't get the man. We get the president simp himself, Yusaku. This man simps so hard he went to go study abroad because he likes an astronaut over there. But I respect the hustle. We get the teacher of the year, Koro-san. Nah, Ah, give me some of that midlife crisis teacher. And look, they even put my TikTok chat into the anime as a special appearance. Haha, <laughs> you guys don't even have a dislike button. Just kidding. Love you, dodo birds. And these characters sure do like hiding their intentions. I felt like a private investigator in this anime, trying to uncover each of these different characters' trauma. Mmm, since daddy issues in you, I do. And all of these characters have crushes on each other. He likes her, she likes him, but she also likes him, and so does she. But she also likes her, and she likes him, and he likes her, but also likes her. What is this, some sort of love octagon? These characters also have progression throughout the story and really noticeable progression at that. The best way to explain this is to look at the beginning of the first episode. And now let's look at the beginning of the last episode. There's a clear growth and these birds show that growth. Did you really just try to explain character growth with birds? All right, you got me. I was just trying to show off a cool parallel I saw. Speaking of cool parallels, this is the original closet that she rolled out of and she was hiding in that closet again at the end. Oh my God, who the hell 
cares? But back to the main point. The characters are constantly evolving. While they couldn't talk to their crushes in the beginning without blushing and dying, eventually they could talk to them. Then they lost those feelings and realized their true feelings for each other. Once she tried to kill him, and now they're getting married. Progression. The plot of this anime did not have to go this hard either. I mean, I just wanted a nice light-hearted romance anime to feel better about my pathetic life. Like, why can't one of these characters just have a nice happy life? I didn't want to be tearing up every five seconds. I also enjoyed the whole plot line of falling in love with someone while trying to help them get with another person. It's something that happens progressively, and I think that the speed of this main plot of these two falling in love was perfect. I gotta watch these characters meet and fall in love with each other, regardless of how much they tried to hide their emotions. Also, all of the other characters fit into the plot perfectly, each with different goals and reasons for what they're doing. Sure, there's the original plot, but each of these characters has their own plot that they're pursuing. It made it feel more genuine than a harem that all want the same guy. Speaking of side characters, I'm gonna complain for a bit about pacing, because some of it did feel a little rushed. I feel like so many of these characters had so much potential to explore, like my girl, but due to time constraints, they just couldn't do that. I wanted to learn so much more about all of these characters. I honestly wasn't happy with some of the finales for these characters, but there just wasn't enough time. I also want to complain about the ending for a moment. I really didn't want her to go back to her family. I understand that she did it because they want support from both families and decided not to run away anymore, but I still wasn't a fan. I absolutely hate endings when they make an appearance after the credits roll, but not for the reason you may think. I think that this is the best thing that an anime can do. No exceptions. Why? Well, because it gives us post-anime depression. It gets us talking about the anime, making Reddit posts, looking up light novel series. It's a genius marketing strategy. But unfortunately, I'm a child who wants to see a happy ending. I wanted to see the wedding, and now I have to wonder what happens next. It's like when you're in the third grade, and you ended your story with, and then I woke up. Unfortunately, the light novels do end at the same spot as the anime, and the manga is still at the Christmas storyline. While I do really want another season, we really don't need one, because this was the end of their struggles. This was their happy ending. Also, give it up for the bird who finally said her name. I recommend this anime to everyone, and maybe you'll fall in love with the anime like I did. Hello, Outro Lunar here. Click here if you want to see my channel. Click over here if you want to see my most recent video. Click over here if you want to see the recommended video. Bye bye.